we're here at the Lyceum to see the Broadway opening of the Scottsboro Boys. I'm here because I couldn't miss it. I saw it uh, off-Broadway at the Vineyard and was completely undone by it. It's one of the most beautiful, uh, extraordinary shows I've ever seen. My friend Coleman Domingo brought me out here. He's in this show and I am so happy for him. Um, we came to New York. He came to New York a couple years after I did. We've known each other for a very long time. I really wanted to see a piece of history being put to music and, and through art and Freddie, Ebb, and John Kander. I love them so, and Stroman. This is all of our team from Still Pier, so that's why I'm here. I've enjoyed everything they've ever done, and I've heard a lot of good things about this one. And John Cullum is a friend, so I'm here to support them tonight. They worked really hard, like we all do, to get to Broadway, and I just am here hoping for the best for them. They can have a nice, long, successful run, and everybody should see this show. And if the Lord above comes down, and I see where the hell I am, just tell him no one knows where Haywood goes, cause I'm a box called Baby Lamb. Come and sing in Chattanooga, come and sing in Chattanooga, on the Southern Ram, on the Southern Ram. I feel like a million bucks. I mean, it's, I, I, this is a dream come true in every way. Got my family here, amazing cast to work with. What more, what more could you want? Oh my God, how does it feel? It feels wonderful. What can I say, it's wonderful. <laughs> Well, it's thrilling. Tonight was so wonderful, and to hear the audience response, and um, you know, I adore the cast, so it, it meant a great deal that they've been embraced so much by the audience. It was thrilling, thrilling. This team has worked before, and uh, they, they, they've been working on it for many years, and uh, it's just so lucky that they didn't let it slip away. It, it starts with the fact that we're crazy about each other, and we know each other extremely well. And we would rather be doing this together than with other with anybody else, really. Kendra and Ebb, I love everything about their music. I think they're, the, they're phenomenal storytellers. Every note, every word makes absolute sense. Why it must be in there, why it must forward the story along. Uh, it's playful, their wit, their heart. I think it's all in their music. I don't know why we haven't worked together before over a period of 50 years. Uh, I, I, and I've come close to working with them, but uh, they, they're double barrel songs. They're so gorgeous, and that uh, some of them, and so exciting, some of them. Uh, uh, and you'd think you were in just a plain old musical, but they also are saying something else at the same time. This particular case, I think that one of the things I personally enjoy is listening to all of these male voices, in particular, singing so much a cappella music. It's just a real incredible opportunity to listen to the human voice again on Broadway. They're like the Scotty Pippen, Michael Jordan, and Steve Kerr of, <laughs> of musical theater. They've been amazing. What's amazing is the trust that they've they put in me just jumping into this role, um, working with them, and, and from, the, from the beginning they just said, this is your role, and you can fail and succeed. Just try as much as you can. So they just automatically set up a level of trust that was amazing. They contributed so much to what we were doing. It was a, it was a wonderful back and forth experience, and I'll, uh, I, I'll never forget it. There are a lot of themes and ideas and, and narrative that goes on in the Scottsboro Boys that's still very much a part of our lives today. But I think most importantly is that it helps, um, there's the discussion about what you saw. Was it, what is it that, what, that you take away from this piece? And I think that there are times with an African-American president specifically that we can feel like we're living in a post-racial time. And I heard far too many young people say that they didn't know that people were treated that way back then. So that to me says it's an important story to try to share, especially with young people. If you think you've been blown away before, honestly, you haven't until you've come to the Lyceum Theater. You're gonna be blown away, honestly. I think you're gonna experience things that you've never, never thought you'd experience in the theater, but you always wanted to experience. It's the same kind of feeling right before you're gonna go on a roller coaster. You're like looking at your friend, you're like, I don't know. But like at the end, I think you're gonna look at your friend and say, we gotta go back. Their emotions are literally gonna go from zero to 60 and every increment in between. And, and hopefully you'll leave singing the uh, hey, 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 or you know, one of the songs. Hey, hey, say hello to the
about and you just so. Every time they wheel about, they jump Jim Crow. Everyone's a minstrel. 